Oh no, I'm hopelessly lost in the woods and my phone is dead. The only thing I have is an analog watch. Hello Triple Fivers, today I'm going to show you an extremely straightforward way to use your analog watch as a compass. So before we get started, again this is only if you have an analog watch. If you have a digital watch, that is one that has an LCD display or a smart watch, it is not going to work unless it has a compass function built into it. That being said, pretty much every traditional three-handed watch is going to work here. It is especially beneficial if your watch has a bezel. And if you're new to the channel here and not familiar with watches, a bezel is this thing around a watch that turns. So what I'll be showing you today is how to find true north, which is the way in which you can use your analog watch as a compass. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do that with three different types of analog watch faces. Okay, let's just start by taking a look at the types of watches that will work well to use them as a compass. Uh, there are three watches here that I'll show you. Uh, the first watch I have here is my little Rolex Air King, which is just a plain watch with uh, three hands, a second hand, an hour hand, and a minute hand, and uh, there is no bezel on it. The second kind of watch that is also very common that I want to show you is this watch, which is a dive watch. This is a Seiko Turtle, and uh, it's also an excellent choice for use of a compass, better than the Rolex because it has a bezel. A bezel uh, designed for diving originally, this is a unidirectional bezel, uh, but it will work very well for this purpose, and you'll see why in a second. Third, and you probably only have this if you're a collector or if you just have to have one this is a watch with an internal rotating bezel so as you can see the bezel rotates on the inside underneath the crystal I'll be showing you how to do this real quickly with all three of these types of watches and uh, you'll see that the principle basically is the same in any case uh, it just happens that uh, maintaining your markings is going to be easier if you have a watch with a bezel Okay, to get started, the first thing you have to ascertain is just the direction of the sun. And of course, if you're in a desert and the sun is far away, it won't be hard for you to see. But if it's overcast or if you're in a, a wooded area where it might be a little confusing exactly where the sun is, one easy thing you can look for is a shadow. And so take something like a pen and just figure out exactly whereabouts the sun is creating a shadow and you will have the direction of the sun that you will need to point your hour hands at which leads us to our second step the next step is uh, something you won't necessarily need to take the watch off your wrist for um, but it will be helpful in this video you just take the watch and make the face of the watch parallel with the ground so make the watch parallel with the ground and then you want to turn it so that the hour hand is pointing towards the sun make sure that that hour hand is pointing towards the sun once the watch is flat and you have the hour hand pointed precisely towards the sun, then you need to learn in a very important vocabulary word, which to me will unlock this whole how-to. And that word is bisection. Okay, say it with me one more time, bisection. You need to know how to execute a bisection. That is to say you need to draw a line in between the hour hand, which is pointing towards the sun, and the 12 o'clock marker, the 12 o'clock marker. By executing that bisection, the middle point will determine what direction is south. Not north, but south. With our watch that's flat towards the ground, we'll precisely point our hour hand towards the sun, and then we'll bring our bezel around to halfway between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker. And you're going to have to just eyeball it unless, and this is if you want to be precise, and if you're really lost, you will want to be precise, you can count precisely how many bezel clicks is in between the halfway point of the hour hand and the 12 hour marker. And then you would click around till you're exactly at that halfway point. 
Two other important qualifications. This method of bisecting between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker only works accurately when it's not daylight savings time and also very importantly if you're in the northern hemisphere. If you don't know what hemisphere you're in, I'm very sorry. In the southern hemisphere, rather than lining up the hour hand with the sun, you would line up the 12 o'clock marker and bisect accordingly, essentially flipping the point of bisection, which makes sense. Here's a very important tip to remember. When you are making this measurement before noon, you have to measure halfway between the hour hand and 12 o'clock going clockwise. If it's in the afternoon, then you have to be able to measure halfway between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker counterclockwise. So because it is currently 520, I would determine south by going counterclockwise. Now notice that it happens that this watch has a north icon here where I am bisecting. Uh, obviously, uh, you'd want to make sure that you use the southerly direction if you are carefully thinking about the fact that you want to head north or south. With a watch like the Seiko Alpinist, I would, rather than just taking the, what would be originally 12 o'clock bezel marker, which is designated as north, as the bisection point between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker, I would instead use the opposite marker of that northern marker, obviously the southern marker for that bisection. So again, I would point the hour hand towards the sun uh, and bisect between the hour hand and 12, but instead use the bezel indicator that says south. And just so that you can see that I'm not, you know, crock full of nuts here, uh, if you use the technique that I've described, you're going to get roughly in the direction that you will need. So again, that bisection point that you make between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker will be pointing you south, which should give you a good sense of direction. Okay, that's about it. If you found it helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below when you got lost in the woods and you were able to extricate yourself with your watch. I would love to hear that story. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you are already a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you hit that bell icon so that you can see all of my new content. And if you'd like to support the channel, I also have a Patreon link down below.